Uh, so the facade was pretty run down. It had been repainted a few times uh, since the early 1900s when it was first constructed. So the render was starting to decay. A lot of the bricks needed repointing. The overall condition was sort of starting to deteriorate. Yeah, so we worked pretty closely with Bilt, who were the managing contractor on the project. Uh, the original scope was certainly the uh, repointing of uh, a kilometres of kilometres of repointing of bricks uh, and the render repair, uh, and some of the other items that flowed into that was the clock tower strengthening, structural steel works, and vertical post tensioning, a lot of stone work, so stone repairs, stone repointing. So we have one entry point which is at one end of Flinders Street, uh, which they call the old milk, milk dock. Every part of our materials have come in through the milk dock, so they have to come in, up the hoist, and then Flinders Street is two blocks long, so anything comes up, sand, cement, comes up manually, gets mixed in a room, and then again manually gets taken up onto scaffold, up onto domes, up onto the clock, clock tower behind us. I think at the peak we are doing four tonnes of render a week. I mean this is by far the biggest project I've ever worked on in 15 years. So logistically it has been a, a challenge but we got there. Originally it was going to be big long heavy bars and that was going to be very hard, impossible almost for us to do. So we proposed the option of going down using post tensioning cables instead, lighter more flexible able to be bend around corners and lifted up and fixed into position easier but still achieving the same result. So we got around I think 1.2 kilometres of PT cable. Uh, it's roughly around 8 tonnes of Rio and in terms of structural steel I think it's around 3 tonnes as well but it's all specially made and designed for this exact application. So on level 5 we had the transfer beams which ran the cables from 5 to 8 so it secured them on 5. That had 13 cubes of concrete and then on level six we had the shock creek columns so we went down the route of spraying it and it ended up being seven I think seven cubes of concrete that went in there as well. To get concrete up there we had to do road closures we had to close the road of Flinders Street and then we had a long like a concrete truck with a long boom that then put a hose onto level five and then we ran hoses from there to level five into level five and then up to level six as well. That helped us spray the concrete and pour the concrete in there. Oh, the highlight of the project is to see it all come together in a relatively short period of time. Just to see all the guys work as a team um, and to see the, the project get delivered in, in a short time but at a very high quality. Always the highlight is walking away and having a look at it for years to come. You're always proud, always proud as a firm and what we've achieved. We're just very good at what we do. When it comes to the concrete repair, like the render repairs, we're very good at that. The bricks, the repointing, the tuck pointing, it's just all stuff that we're good at and we have the labour force that I'd say others probably don't. Yeah, all of the feedback's been very positive. It came from not just the public, but Development Victoria, who are the state government representative, the client, Bill, to the guys that have worked on the site. Everyone's been very positive once the, once the project's about to be unveiled. I think it looks great.